Well, hello and happy Halloween to all my nature loving friends on the interwebs. I'm Takian, and today is Halloween. It is the 31st of October, 2022. It's a Monday, and I'm here to ramble. So, the theme of this week is, of course, spooky stuff. Another theme, like in the past few weeks, is that I haven't finished as much as I thought, but, you know, I think that stuff I have finished is pretty interesting and impressive. First of all, we have Yog sothoth Finally done, as far as I can tell. Who knows? It's it's a it's a cosmic horror from outside of space and time. So who knows if it could ever be really finished? But <laughs> I'm calling it done, and uh, not sure how I'm gonna take still pics of this. It's not gonna fit in my light box, but oh well. The next biggest mini is the Overgourd, the Reaper Bones sort of. Pumpkin Beholder. This thing will fit in the light box, I believe, so so I can take some good pictures of it. Uh, we have a sort of trash golem. It's It has a lot of bones, it has a lot of skulls in it, but it's also a lot of vines and thorns and just tree trunks. And so it's some sort of kind of swamp thing, amalgam of stuff with some undead thrown in for good measure. Um, this Scarecrow, uh, I added because he has pumpkins around the base, so he, uh, he is sort of uh, Halloween-themed, and this is just general horror. Just a Grim Reaper. There's no special Halloween theme about him. I just tried painting him in different dark colors. It's n n None of these colors are actually black, but the idea is to give the impression of it being black without looking as boring as being straight black. Uh, hopefully that comes across. It, it'll be more clear, I think, in the bright light of the light box. So, five minis done. Not bad. I mean, uh, like I've said a few times, my ambition is between five and ten and getting five uh, complicated and really big minis like these finished. And that's an accomplishment, even if this one took many, many weeks. This wasn't finished in one week. Anyway, let's move on to works in progress. So this is what's currently prepped and in the works, and you'll recognize the big figures here. Oh, oh, sorry, I hit my brushes there. The giant and this guy. This guy has had some undercoating work on some portions that I hadn't painted before. Probably not noticeable. Uh, the giant, really nothing has happened since last week. And I think you've seen this lady before. Nothing really has happened with her either. And, but I've prepped and started painting two more. This lady. And this sort of dude, Deputy Dan here. Um, and really, you know, that's all that's gotten started out of the stuff that I thought I was going to prep. E Sorry, did not get all of it eh, working. But I'll show you that next. Here we have uh, the uh, metal minis laid out that I didn't uh, finish prepping. I've actually done nothing except take them out of the blisters. Uh, I've cleaned up the bases a bit and I'm... Uh, working um i have a plan for what to do with the bases but anyway we up front we have we have the scarecrow the lion and the tin man one pieces uh dorothy here has her the gun in one in her hands and that's a separate piece you need to glue on and then little toto here is is also separate uh toto that's gonna be tricky considering how i want to make um, uh, textured bases using my rollers and, or stamps and and some green stuff or, or milliput and he has a little base of his own mm. uh, I'm not sure maybe maybe um, uh, I'll, I'll have to think about that 
I can solve it maybe in some way. And then we have the monkeys. We have three copies of the same thing, and they have wings that attach, and these are mechanical monkeys, not biological ones, so you don't have to feel bad about screwing them. Oh, and the tails are separate as well, they have to be glued on. Anyway, this is basic stuff, except for the dog, which will take some thinking. I'll, you know, pushing it into the soft milli... I, I, because I don't want this to be on top of the stamp base. Maybe I, I'll push it into the soft milliput and then try to sculpt something onto his integral base to make it seem like it's part of the same texture. It's a little tricky, but I can make it work, perhaps. So since I'm a little behind where I thought I was going to be, uh, I'm only prepping two minis, but they're kind of special ones. These are from uh, the Bones 5 core set, and they are translucent minis. I've opened this badly up. For reason, this is the Gem Dragon. You can see huge wings, a body, a rock for it to stand on. Yeah. And this is some sort of golem. I'm not sure why this one is actually transparent. This is the treasure golem. But, uh, you don't know, on the pictures it seems like his texture is mostly coins. And that would be painted metal anyway, so why is he transparent? Uh, is, it, is it supposed to be made of gems as well? Maybe? I guess. I'll have to look at it very closely under a magnifying glass forgot this texture is. It's really hard to see when it's transparent. Um, th so these are the last of the transparent or translucent minis in this Kickstarter and I don't think I have any others in my collection so it's gonna be the last transparent plastic I paint in a pretty long while. I don't usually buy that sort of mini. It's kind of tricky to work with honestly. But we'll see what we can make out of these guys. And uh, with that, we're transitioning out of October, out of Halloween season, into next week, which will be in November. So join me then. First, give this video a thumbs up and a comment and a share and, uh, you know, subscribe. Uh, but, but after that, join me again the week from today. Same day of the week, same channel, same Dakiyan. But for now, I'm signing.